Hey everybody, it's me Mario497 here. Welcome back on more The Legend of Zelda, Minish Cap. In the last episode, we failed to protect the princess. In this episode, we are gonna see what we have to do. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand by my side. The... what? The king of Hyrule is about to speak. It has... Oh wait, it has... Have you heard... All heard? Whatever. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Cory Blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered that blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do, we, do you know about the Picori? The Picori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny if... I'll just take the glare off of it. If I am remembered correctly. Yeah, that, that one from the fairy tales. But the Picori are no more legends. They're, they most certainly exist. No one, no one outside of the royal family knows about the truth of them. The Cory who for, what are, uh, what? For, forged the sacred blade, lived deep within the Minish woods. They could, they should be able to repair the broken blade and re re reforge the sword. What? What? Then you must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to to anyone but shrill children. Our soldiers can search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. Well, in that case, why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious prin Princess Zelda back to normal. Picori should have know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you along with the broken Picori blade. You accepted the broken Picori blade? This is a part of the sword need that needs to be reforged. The sacred blade. The sacred sword. Don't lose it. You got the smith's sword. It's sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. Deep within the Manish woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. One... Once humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be the best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and L or R to open the map. I've marked the location on the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. You got the map of Hyrule! Now you'll never get lost! So it's, you have to go over there where that check mark is. I'm counting on you, Link. You can, you're the only one. You only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Okay, wait just a second. Okay. So yeah, we did four minutes of dialogue. Yeah, four minutes. Oh come on. I know. Telling you how to roll, that's kinda sad. Wait just a second, okay. So, we have to go to that objective, basically. We finally get a sword. Finally have a shield. What more could we need? Actually, yeah, we will need more goods, look. We have, um... Uh, 12 slots in our inventory. So.
So, yeah. So, we can just explore all this stuff. Not really much to do. You got one rupee. It's green. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay. Uh, okay. You blocked the path. Okay. So we have to find an alternate way to get to the Minish Woods. So, uh, this is the way. Lon Lon Ranch. Um... Did I miss any collectibles I could get right now? Oh, well, um... I might not be going for 100%. Um, because I haven't gone for 100% ever in this game. I don't know, like, like, there's so much side quests to this game. You got a heart. These replenish your life energy a bit. So yeah, I'm not gonna be going for 100% if I ever do. Um, I'd be astonished, but yeah, it's most likely not gonna happen on this Let's Play. Like, I 100%ed Metroid Fusion, but that, I, I 100%ed that game before, so. So, yeah. Um, so we're just gonna attack all these things. It's actually one of my favorite soundtracks in the game, actually. Okay, I have to go down here. Help! Help me! Really? You can't you can't stop Octorox to Okay, whatever. Ow! Ow! Help! Somebody! And can't anybody hear me? No. Anyway, we get our first heart piece. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, kid, you there? Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something. Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like me? Do you like watching me take this abuse? That's not abuse. Like seriously, I can take care of easy. Pew! That well, well done. I that was close. I not that I couldn't handle it myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing in the deep woods, whatever? Ho oh, ho, oh, I see. The Picori, you say, and Vati. Vati cursed someone? What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, and you, you I have quite a, okay. I'm not on, I'm, I too am on our quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break the curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is a now. This this um. Wait, wait. I say you walked so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can can you go any slower? Uh, now this game is. Um, said to be the first one because uh, Link first get gets his cap from here. See, he gets his cap. He gets his hat for the remainder of the series. So that's. I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> I'm too tired to read that. Um. So yeah, this game is said to be the first, um, game in the Zelda series because of, um, Link first gets his 
hat for the remainder of the series. You got five rupees, that's kinda nice. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something very important. The world of the Minish is very small. You are far too big to meet them now. Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, uh, silly, yes. Me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Bikori, but we but they refer to them as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only the forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if you are... Oh, jeez. Look at that. First at first balance. Oh, jeez, I can't talk. No, that stump is a portal used by the people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me in there and we'll give it a try. Alright, press R right here and dance, 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 dance with music. Oh, please. And then we can become really small. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't we, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are around in different places and shapes and size. If you want to return to normal, stand... Okay. Yeah, I know. I got it. You can read that if you want to. I'm not going to. So, yeah. So, basically, what you want to do is... Actually, we're going to end off this episode very soon, actually. So, yeah, I want to ride on these raft-looking things. And I think we'll end off the episode um, when we get there. Alright. Um, I guess that's it for this episode. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, we'll, we'll see what we can do in this place and other stuff. Alright, see you guys then.